Omar Mateen is seen here in pictures from his own social media account. His family was from Afghanistan, but he was born in New York. Today, his house in Port Lucie, an hour and a half from Orlando, was being searched. Those who'd known him expressed their shock. He was like outgoing, just like a regular young kid. He was a little younger than me, so he's, it's crazy. I don't know. Omar was a cool, calm, and collective person. He was never an angry monster, never seen him in a fist fight once in my life. So what led Omar Mateen to attack a gay club? His father claimed he wasn't motivated by religion, but was angry after witnessing a gay couple embracing in front of his family. But in the last few hours, so-called Islamic State issued this message, describing him as one of their fighters. But it's not clear from this whether they had any direct contact with him or just inspired him to act and are now claiming credit. The FBI have also confirmed he'd been investigated and cleared twice, once for possible links to a suicide bomber and once because of concerns at work. The FBI first became aware of Martin in 2013 when he made inflammatory comments to co-workers alleging possible terrorist ties. The FBI thoroughly investigated the matter, including interviews of witnesses, physical surveillance and records checks. Bombs targeting the Boston Marathon in 2013 made clear the threat of homegrown terrorism in America was increasing. Killings in San Bernardino last year more closely resemble events in Orlando, though. Then a married couple pledged allegiance to IS before launching a gun attack on their workplace. The FBI will now be scouring every detail of Omar Mateen's life. And as America struggled to understand what mix of hatred and ideology drove him, it will be fearful of what more may be to come.